So around Halloween time, we do like to go to haunts and we like to have a night vision camera. And a lot of people don't really know what a night vision camera is. They think that the night vision can just see in the dark. It can't, it uses infrared lights. Like this is our night vision camera. It is an old Sony Handycam, super old, only films in standard definition, 480. And our newest camera, the one that you guys are watching right now is 1080p, 60 frames. This is 480, uh, like 24 frames. So terrible, terrible video quality, but every digital camera can see the light that infrared lights produce even though you and I can't see it. So like right now, if I turn this one on, you can see that it's purple. I can't see any light coming out of it right now. And the only reason that it's so dim to you guys is every camera has an infrared filter in it. So in order to get some better video quality out of our night vision, I'm gonna take an old HD camera. This one films in 1080, 30 frames and take the infrared filter out of it so we can have another night vision camera that's in high definition. So let's give it a try. To start off with, these cannons are really easy to take apart. We just got two screws on the bottom, two on each side, and then it should pop right open. So I'm gonna take those out right now. One more screw up top. Now we just need to figure out how to get this little screen off. And then I believe that our sensor is right behind the screen there. And all we have to do is take out a couple of screws back there and we'll get to the filter. How is it attached? This is like the ribbon cable that goes to this. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little like flap right there that folds down and clamps down on it. Oh. And now I have to try to get this little ribbon cable out here to get this part, which is the buttons. Which that's something that's kind of interesting is that these are the buttons, like on the back of the camera, these are the buttons. So you can see the, the cover here where the buttons are. It's just pressing down on this little pad here. And it, it makes a connection to this metal plate behind it. And that's what uh, makes the buttons go off. And so that's the LCD screen. That's all there is to it. That's, mm -hmm. what, uh, that's what your image shows up on your digital camera when you're filming or when you're taking pictures. These are the little ribbon cables. I just undid the one in the front and this one's one from the side. And so now, just underneath all this stuff, that's your sensor right there. So these three screws are glued. I'm gonna undo those and the sensor will fold back and underneath there will be the infrared filter that I'm looking for. There's glue that was holding the, the screws from turning. And because there's glue in there, it is also holding the sensor in place. So I'm just trying to get the glue out so that I can get the sensor out. Probably the best way to do that would be with a heat gun, which I don't have. See that sensor right there? That's where all the magic happens. That's like the heart of the camera. So, number one, you're gonna probably ruin a camera if you do this. Number two, if you think you're gonna be able to save the camera, make sure that you are super careful about this sensor right here because that is the heart of the camera. If that thing gets scratched or messed up, camera is it's pretty much trash at that point. So, and you can see, Inside of here, there's a little piece of glass, and I don't know if I can get at the right angle, but you can kind of see that it's red. Is it showing up red on the camera? A little bit, yeah. That is the infrared filter. So, I'm gonna try to get this little like rubber bezel out from over top of it, and then get that piece of glass out of there. Oh geez. There it is. Aren't you afraid you're gonna scratch it? This is the thing that I'm taking out. What's the thing that you're supposed to be careful with? That thing. Oh. So that's my infrared filter right there. So 
put it off to the side, and then we do the arduous task of putting everything back together now. Oh goodness. Okay, I put the sensor back in, got my little piece of rubber underneath it, and then I put these three screws back in. And now I can breathe easy because everything's sealed back up. And, I mean, I'm not in a clean room or anything like that, so it's not as good as it could have been, but it's still not bad. I got my little bezel back in. That actually just fell out after I took the screen out. And now, I have to try to feed this ribbon cable through that hole and this one through this hole over here and plug them both back in. Uh oh. That one made it through, and this one's right here. Now this is where it gets difficult. For me at least, because I have these giant hands. You got it. Right? Mm, it's not all the way in yet. You see how it's still at like a little bit of an angle? All right, I got my little ribbon cable back in there, which was just, it just slid right in. And now I'm gonna flip it over and I have to try to get this little ribbon cable back inside of its little holder down there, which is gonna be no easy task. And it has to go in straight too. I think that was it. Of course now, getting the little flap back over is not going to be easy. There's a little flap here that's not going to be easy to flip back down. You can kind of see me doing it. Here it goes. Yeah. I think that's it. I am going to try to turn this on while it's still open like this so that we can see if everything works. I wouldn't suggest doing that because you never know, you might actually break something more. But I'm pretty confident that I can keep my hands away from everything. Also, it should be noted that there is a flash in this camera. And anytime you have a flash, it has a capacitor in it that can hold a pretty big charge. Could shock the heck out of you, so just be careful around the flash. Turns on. We are seeing stuff compared to what you see here, so how bright they are on the camera for you, right? Mm -hmm. Now look at how bright they are on my camera. Oh wow. So, that's what makes this a night vision camera at this point. And I will put a memory card in here and we'll do some test footage after I get these two little bezels back on. And there it is, all back together. So now, let's do some, some test footage on it. Pop a, a memory card in there. And fire it up. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Let's see it in the dark. Ooh, a creepy dark tour of the house. So I wanted to show you guys like the difference between what this camera sees and what we would see in night Wait. vision. All right, we've got a new battery in there, so let's give it a test up the stairs into the darkness. And you guys say it's pitch black up there, as you guys can see on the other camera. But now, because we've got these infrared lights going, we can actually see up here. Yes. We're in our hallway. Let's have a look in the guest bedroom. Here's my hand. Ooh, there's pillows on the couches. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the recliner with the pillows on it. It's yeah. So crazy. And look, we can like take this TV because we see it here. Yes, mm -hmm. indubitably. Wow, this is nuts. This is way better than the other ones that you made. Yeah, look, it's gonna be like super purple. Not purple. This thing is pretty awesome. It worked really well. Kind of sort of normal colors too in daylight. Now, what if you didn't have this attached to it? Would it still be a night vision camera? No. Turn off the lights. See? 
No, you have to have the lights. Lights. Okay. No lights. Lights. So it's technically not a night vision camera unless you build these other two pieces as well. well that's what I'm saying. You have to have infrared lights because that's what makes it a night vision camera. Because you just can't see this light, but this camera can see it. Right. So that's what makes a night vision camera. The fact that it's like you just can't see it, but it's still like lighting up stuff. But it was a totally fun day of like making night vision cameras and like uh, hanging out. So um, I don't know what's going on with the night vision camera now. The battery doesn't seem to last very long. I don't know. Maybe it's because the batteries have been sitting for so long because it was an old camera. But I'm going to go to bed, charge those batteries up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.